body count lottery rounded out to a solid and sturdy 30. Oh, yes. Hey. Tis I, I have returned. So, today, I thought I'd take a look at Cyberpunk simply because, upon release, as we all know, there were a few small, small problems. <laughs> and, um,. Now, over a month on, obviously we've had the big, um, there was the big hotfix right before Christmas, and as far as I can tell, there's been one or two other little bug fixes, which were, uh, rolled out, and hopefully that is, uh, uh sorry, just looking at my mic there. Yes, hopefully all of this is sorted. Now obviously I'm not going to be playing the game from the beginning and yes I do realize that quite a few people had a game breaking bug which actually stopped them progressing past one of the earlier quests. Quests? Missions. Whatever you want to call it. I've been playing a lot of uh, fantasy games lately so it's a quest to me not a mission. But anyway just as kind of a you know just another look at how the game's doing and is it safe to pick it up yet? Because there will be those who waited and once they saw all the absolute crap that was being given to this game based on the fact that, you know, the, the, the bugs were just too bad. They were completely game-breaking and you couldn't progress and it just wasn't all that fun so there was a lot of refunds uh, and a lot of people just decided not to play the game at all but as far as I can tell are there still a few a few you know little glitches and bugs here and there you bet your sweet buttons there are but then again it wouldn't be a modern AAA release without those so I won't be going through any of the main story stuff uh, I really don't want to spoil it for you. If you're going to play the game, you want to play the game. What I'd like to do in this video is just show you that it is playable. So I'm going to bomb it around the city, I'm going to try and find some trouble and get into a few fights, maybe go through a few, uh, a few dialogue bits and pieces, just to show you that the game is working fine. If you've been looking forward to this for the last, what, almost eight years? That they were teasing it. Like the first teaser I think was almost eight years ago now. Um, if you, you know, for those especially who were fans of the Deus Ex series and who love, uh, you know, shows like Ghost in the Shell or if you're a comic book fan and you read Transmetropolitan or if you're like me and you're all of the above then you've been looking forward to this since that very first teaser first surfaced. And this game does not disappoint. With regards to all the things that you can do, uh, the way the world looks, uh, the soundtrack, the general attitude of all of the characters and actors in this, it does not disappoint in any way. I am unbelievably happy with this game. Like I said, yes, there are still a few little bugs and glitches. Oh, I'm in a hostile area. Looks like I may have found that fight. So. Oh, 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 oh! Uh, now, I have not actually played this for a couple of weeks. Oh dear, that was close. Snipers, we don't like snipers. Ah! Being targeted by a hacker. Hang on. Do 
Trying to get serious, boy. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Now, I'm not entirely sure what... Because I wasn't really listening to what she just said. As you can tell... Oh, yes! As you can tell, even at max settings and recording, the game is running perfectly fine. Granted, this is just one fight. And it's not exactly the most manic. Yeah. I've got something a bit more. There we are. Take out the security camera, otherwise it's gonna keep on having to go. Yeah, I haven't played this uh probably about a week. So getting back into it because I've, I've uh, been doing all sorts of other other recordings. Oh. Also, I've always been terrible at first-person shooters. So. I love them, but I'm no good at them. Have that. Now, granted, you know, I am using a fairly powerful computer. Um, so this is running, as I said, with graphics set to max, except um, I do have V-Sync turned on uh, as I don't use a higher refresh rate monitor. I only have a 60Hz monitor. So I have to make sure that it caps that, otherwise you end up screen tearing. And I am also running it with motion blur turned off because I can't stand it. It looks horrible. I don't know why they keep including it in game. But yeah, I'm, I'm running that using a RTX 2070. Not the super, just this, the standard RTX 2070. Uh, 2070. And with a i7-8700 CPU. Uh, 16 gig of RAM. So not... You know, this is not a, a rig which is immensely powerful, but still, it runs the game absolutely brilliantly. And now, I can even run it brilliantly while running, uh, oh. Calm down, boy. So, breach protocol. So I'm going to hack this guy. Uh, mass vulnerability. So I want 1CE955. 1CE955. And 1C1C. Lovely jubbly. Ha ha! And then... So, Yep, there we go. What I tend to do is, unless it notifies me that I can't pick stuff up because my inventory's full, I will just pick up absolutely everything. Ooh. Ooh. What was I doing? Done. Ta da! But look, look, so pretty. Oh my god, so pretty. So, yeah, you can see the combat. It's pretty smooth. Works nice and effective. No. 
seemingly no bugs that I could really notice. Do you like my outfit? <laughs> Oop. Yeah, I am awful at driving in this game as well. It's not just the shooting. I imagine the driving might be a little bit easier if you're using a controller. Although before I took my break, before, uh, last week when I was playing it, I was getting considerably better at driving. I wasn't having quite so many accidents and it didn't look so clunky or... Yeah, pelting it down the road at over 160 miles an hour. Probably not the best idea. Ah. Yeah, like I said, there are a couple of little bugs. But bugs like that I don't mind because it just meant that I didn't get my head taken off. Yeah, and little things like the uh, the render distance. When you're moving quite fast on a vehicle, sometimes textures don't render on vehicles or um, on walls. And while that can be a little bit immersion breaking, granted, it doesn't mean the game is unplayable. These are all things that will be fine-tuned over time. Yes, they had the better part of a decade to get it right. This should all have been sorted before release. However, it's a pretty big game, and it's extremely detailed. There are many things you can do, many places you can go, and God knows how many different ways you can do everything. It does really remind me of thing of games like the original, uh, the original Deus Ex, or or even like uh, Hitman, where there were so many different ways you could approach. I've completely ignored my GPS and gone the wrong way, but yeah, there so many different ways you can go about doing everything, and it's just the 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 beauty of choice. As you can probably tell, I'm a bit of a blunt instrument. I go in, shoot people in the face. And I... wait. I'm... okay. That guy's wandering around in booty shorts and nothing else. Welcome to the future. The future looks a lot like Brighton. But there are so many details that make the world feel really... lived in and gritty and... Exciting. It's just for a, a sci-fi fan, you know, and a, especially a cyberpunk fan. It's I got to admit the irritating thing about this game is that they named it after a genre, which means if you want to reference the genre, it just it just sounds like you're being a fanboy over the game. But yeah, for people who are a fan of the genre, this is basically as good as it gets. You know, this, you could not ask for a more well thought out, deep game. Those guys will have skulls over their heads, which means they'll destroy me. But it's unbelievably fun. It's challenging. It's detailed. It's a fantastic place to just come and mess around. Even if you don't want to do the missions, you know, you've got like a spare couple of hours, but you're not into. Yeah, you, know, you don't. You don't want to get into something. You know, particularly heavy. You just want to mess around in a world that you can get lost in. Guess what? This this is the one. Oh, that's a point. Let's have a look at the items I picked up in that absolute massacre. Oh! <laughs> That's the stuff. Right. And also, when it comes to getting around on foot, the world is quite explorable. You know, there, there's all sorts of... Uh, because they put a climbing mechanic in the game, you can kind of get to places where maybe you weren't meant to, if I can get up. Perfect example! Um... Okay, so that's just not climbable. There we are. 
better. But say, for example, I have uh, improved myself to the point where I can jump higher, and I could jump up here. I could scale that. Uh, hello. Hello. Oh, don't bug me, kid. Say what? Yeah, thought not. Oh, what do you want? God damn it, woman, get off the stairs. And a lot of the adverts that you'll see, like the big banners and posters, some of them are a little, um... <sighs> Risqué, or, um... Weird. Downright disturbing. So yeah, the game is playing fine. It plays smooth. You don't need to spend, you know, two and a half, three grand on a computer that's going to run it. This, all in all, uh, for what I'm using, maybe cost me about eleven hundred pounds. I realise that's not a small amount to to spend, but at the same time, for a PC, it is not the worst. It gets a whole lot more expensive. Ah! I think that... <laughs> Let's take on Night City's finest, shall we? Hell, why can't I use my grenades? Yeah, you like that, don't you? Ah! And we're down for the game. Critical systems failure. So yeah, that's it. For this one, check out Cyberpunk. It is a fantastic game. It has the occasional little thing, but as you saw with me driving around town and getting into fights and, um, you know, going through the, the UI, there's nothing particularly game-breaking. It's all little graphical glitches. And I think that if you just... If you can bear with that, then you're going to have an absolutely amazing time in this game. So please, this is definitely one I would recommend. Get out there, pick it up, or you know, get on Steam, download it, whatever. Just get a hold of this game and play it, because if this is the sort of genre you're into, you will love every second of this game. Get on it. Thank you very much. I have been Christian, this is XMVR, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye-bye.